City, the violence is becoming too much. What do you think about those, what those people are saying? Cap. That's a cap, yeah. bro. Cause don't nothing happen to nobody that's just stand out the way. So basically you gotta have your hands dirty to have things happen. Nah, cause you could be a bystander and get hit. Huh? How easy would it be to find one and how much do I gotta pay? It's Ooh, easy. You can buy this right, right now. Full state. God. I swear to God. Huh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground in the most dangerous city in America, St. Louis, Missouri. Real D, you in here with that fing man. That's the clear to see. Fresh shit for this shit, said all live off fire, I changed the meaning. 34 came with Jim Fox Lion and then Uncle Christina. Real deal, just main chop. You run in post, you buy this motherfucker right now, four state. This is where I go down there, this side of town. Each year, I make a trip to the most dangerous city in America. Shit, you guys fing got your after school projects here, huh? Yeah, after school on a quest to speak with local residents and try and understand what it's like growing up in such a wild place. I once again find myself in St. Louis, Missouri, which one news source says is the city with the highest homicide rate in the world outside of Mexico. Today, prosecutors charged a man with murder for killing someone execution style in downtown St. Louis. This morning, St. Louis police are trying to identify and find five teens. They are wanted for questioning in last weekend's mass shooting downtown. The weekend of violence raises concerns Concerns about downtown St. Louis. From 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon until 3 o'clock Sunday morning, there were 639 calls for service. Take a look at the video of armed young people leaving a downtown loft yesterday morning. Another man openly carrying a gun in the downtown area. He just glanced up at the helicopter, back around to the vehicle, which was on the run and on the move once again. Oh, isn't that wonderful? My son and I fall asleep to the lullaby of gunshots in the distance every night. Wow. In traveling to cities like Chicago, New York, LA, Philly, I can say without a doubt that I see the craziest amounts of guns I've ever seen so far in the trenches of St. Louis. I even saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 11 toting automatic weapons. Today, we tap in with St. Louis locals making a name for themselves. First, we head to Mo P's hood. He's a rapper putting up impressive numbers on YouTube. He sounds like this. Wiping the cocaine on my mirrors. The remains of what got booked is coming in so quickly. Business men calling my phone. How you know the digits? They trying to come with it. Piece of 16 and they in the trenches. And then we head to entrepreneur Heavy G's block. He's known in the city for selling exotic snacks and the world's most expensive lemonade. How much do these cost? $25. This costs $25? Yes. Join me as I hit the streets and look for answers on how to make St. Louis a more peaceful place. You look at places like this, and is it really that surprising that things are crazy here? You have to think about the mentality of starting out in this spot. I'm not excusing this behavior. I'm not saying killing each other is okay. Look over here. Imagine growing up in absolute destruction. How did things get to this? What happened? You just can tell that we are tiptoeing on Trenchville. Tell the people what to expect from this area, what goes down. A lot goes down. A lot of these guys, man, they, they younger, so I found a little bit more eager to do the crimes, kind of, I don't want to say it like that, but. They're more reckless. More young. reckless, that's a better way to work. Have you ever been in a video shoot and a shootout happened? And I've been there where they just been shooting. Maybe they was trying to scare the artists off the block or something, they just start letting off shots. So I've been, I've literally had footage running with the camera, hearing the gun shots, they crazy, man. That ain't things. This is the type of area that every single car that passes, uh, you gotta watch out for. My main man. Okay. okay. Good to meet you, man. What's the word? Tell. This is a real spitter. You want a bar spitter that goes bar for bar, every single song he makes, this is the guy. Tell the people where we are right now. Right now, we really in the middle of the horseshoe, aka the dipset for real, 5500 for real, for real. We got some motherfuckers coming down, goddamn me. This feels shit. slightly sketchy, like it feels like things could pop off at any moment in a place That's like St. This. Louis for you, I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Everybody trying to be okay. a tap. What do you love about St. Louis? I love everything about St. Louis. I ain't gonna fake it like, I don't wanna leave my city. I love everything about my city from the food, to the cars we drive, to the phases we go through, all type of shit. You got the shoes with the tags still on them. Oh, that a Toothbrush, cool. clean them off. There, 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 there. So what's the mission? What's the plan right now? Like, what are you trying to do in this city? Get signed for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Be another Nelly. Like, I'm trying to be better than Drake. And when you blow up, what are your plans? Let's just say you got $10 million in the bank right now. What's your plan? 
Four or five million going dead on my rap. And the other million, I'm going to get a game some shit so they can have money cycling in. One really important thing as an American that we have a right to is the right to bear arms. How important is that in this city? Bro, I feel like at a very young age, bro, parents should be teaching their kids to how to use guns. Like, you should be able to, at any age, to teach your kid how to use a gun. Like, that's what they should be teaching in school. Mm -hmm. Not dumb ass shit that we not going to see when we get up out of here, you know? What percent of people around here you think have a gun? Realistically, 90% everybody got a gun. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Tell me about how you grew up. What was your childhood like? How'd you get to where you are now? Regular childhood, it's on some St. Louis shit. I grew up my granny for real on some little cool shit. She ended up passing away to cancer and shit. After that shit, the nigga was by herself. That was at like 12 years old, for real. So, so you had no parents and no grandma from the time you were 12? Yeah, nice. for real. If we elected you mayor of St. Louis, what would you do to make the city better, stronger, safer? It really started in the heart of the community, for real. You make a little change in one community, motherfuckers need to actually be hands-on with shit. Like, get their hands dirty with niggas who been getting their hands dirty, for real. To me, a lot of the reason a lot of young men are reckless right now is almost just like a, for thrill-seeking. Kids are bored and they're shit, trying to do things for the thrill of it. Yeah, like, motherfuckers really want that rush. You got to think like motherfuckers sit at the crib all day on Instagram. That's real as fuck. Motherfucker, like, I want to do what they doing. That's hella real. Gentlemen, I'm going to need some help breaking down some St. Louis slang. I just heard tapper. Help me use it in tap. a sentence properly. Be like, what's the word, tap? What's you know? the word, tap? Oh, me. Great idea. I'm God. You about to tap some shit today? I'm God. Wait, what you, Tommy tap? Which one? G tap? Tommy tap? Which one? G tap. Oh, my mama. <laughs> nigga, we got G tap in this motherfucker. Nigga, on God. Hey. Red. Real deal. My soul. What's, what's the, the word? word? I hear people say, God damn me. God damn me. On oh, God. God damn me. On oh, God. Swear to God. Nike girl. Swear to God. Huh? Was that bad? Bo P started getting agitated, grabbed a strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope, just another day in St. Louis. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Them the little monsters. Oh, God. Tell your ass up. Are you guys in middle school or high school? I'm in high school. Okay. So we talked to people, citizens of St. Louis before. Oh, my gosh. I... Honestly, y'all, I want y'all to seriously pray for Gen for Gen Z. I mean, bro, it's people in high school out here thugging on the streets, out here doing what they gotta do to make to make a living, to make money, or whatever they trying to do, or whatever they trying to get. They out here at high school, high school, bro. I'm trying to figure out when did parents become so lenient. My mom was strict as heck. Bro, bro, you know how long it took her to let me go across the street? Oh my, bro, I was in high school with a bad time. That's how strict my mom was. That that's how strict she was. I was in. It wasn't no crazy bad. It wasn't like no nine o'clock bedtime. Like nah, it was, it was. I didn't have a bedtime. I had a curfew. I had to be in the house at a certain time. It was like eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock at night, I had to be in the house. But it's still the simple fact that these people are out here, <laughs> high school, middle school. Out here selling drugs, got guns, all type of stuff. Honestly, I'm not even going to talk about Gen Z. I know that the devil has his hand over Gen Z, but the best thing that a community can do is really pray for this generation. Seriously, pray for this generation. Prayer does work, bro. We all go to prayer when something bad is happening. You know what I'm saying? Mama on a deathbed, grandma on a deathbed. We go straight to prayer. But when it's things like this that is like it's it's sad to see young young people dying at 14, 15, bro. It's it's a blessing that you even make it to 18 now. You know what I'm saying? Like when you make it to 18, that's just a blessing. That's a blessing because bro, half of half of the uh half of the teenagers not even making it to a 18. And if they are making it to 18, they die at 18. That's how serious it is. But the best thing we can honestly do is pray for the generation. You know what I'm saying? This generation is lost. They're lost. They don't know Jesus. They don't know God. They say on God so much that it's, it, it's out of his, bro. It's, it blows my mind how much I can hear a person say on, on God, on God, on God. Like they continue to say it over and over. They don't know God. They don't know Jesus. They don't know anything. They just trying to find something. They trying to find a peace. They trying to find purpose. They trying to find something in this life, but they're looking in the wrong areas. They feel like money, 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 money is what's going to get them through life. But all this is meaningless. So you getting all this money now, what does it matter? What does it matter? Because when you die and plus you getting it the illegal way. So when you die over this money given, then what? 
the the Bible literally tells us what profits a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul. What profits a man to gain the entire world but lose his soul? That's a powerful verse. That's a powerful verse. And I think a lot of us just, it goes straight over our head, straight over our head. But it's the truth. It's a powerful verse. We came here. And a lot of them said they're getting scared to live in the city. The violence is becoming too much. What do you think about those, what those people are saying? Cap. That's a cap, cap, bro. Because don't nothing happen to nobody to just stand out the way. So basically, you got to have your hands dirty to have things happen. No, nah, because you could be a boss and then get hit. If, if I wanted like to buy a gun. You just said nothing happens to anybody that stands out the way. Then you just said that you could be a bystander and get hit. Make it make sense, bro. Go back to school. Oh, my gosh. Please, go back to school, bro. That did not make logic. You just contradicted yourself. They got a, bro, they got a gun in the back, bro. They're just sitting there, bro. Oh, my God. This is... Gun, how easy would it be to find one, and how much do I got to pay? It's Ooh, easy, right? You buy this right, right now, full stack. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> What's the average age a kid touches their first gun around here? Bro, I was hella young playing with guns on God, bro. This generation, bro, like, me and my partners graduated. I ain't gonna fake it, like, all the other shit, that shit killed. Was graduating important to you? Damn right. I ain't gonna fake it. When my grandma passed away, like I told you, like, that was a big thing on, on my list. Like, I had to graduate. That We finna go to the little place where I shot shit. Right, they, come on, tell. Got, got diamonds sitting on the west so ass. My bitch stay saying for I leave base, stay safe and she praying for me. Big boy four five eight CP one deep in this three point oh T. New boy I fit get up the street quick and tap you come. He watching all the perimeters. Right? Right. So he me, let me know y'all was down here. You know? It's on gangland. First game. First game here? Yeah. So the Bloods came here, set up shop. Yeah. When was that, like yeah. 1960s? Late 80s, beginning Late 80s. of the 90s. From an outside perspective, it makes me sad to see you messing with me? No, I, oh God. Certified Trapper did that to me during our interview where he faked go like this just to try and get my reaction. Um, you see some shit or what? No, that's my little brother's <laughs> back. Oh, okay, you looked uh, like you were know, you looked like you were about to go Navy SEAL mode on us. When I see all the the numbers of deaths, it makes me really sad to see because there's what I see is a lot of young men that have potential that never got to live that potential out. Mo, you got any bars for us? All right, now, all right, now, all right. Look at my glizz, look at bro glizz, and they both came from smacking. We hit the south in different wheels because we just swapped the traffic. Put dude ass on VOTP comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't her from when last we seen got hitting this shit no more. They cover up they ears. Mass speeds on the flyway make them think it's task. They watch they murders. Max suppress, don't hurry. Bro got button C crowd trying to clear him. One deep Drake with 60 think I'm fearless. That tough guy act the sickness. Luckily, Drizzy a crim. Chasing shit. Booking fat ass guns with built up my endurance. Burn them car. No, we got some stupid. They say fast and free. GT stinker. No key USB won't see it for you. Hurry. Taz pick me up, show different times. Say what you was doing during. I don't know nothing. I can't even spell my name if y'all was curious. Little bro snatched Get pack off the lot, wrapped on the way back, stirring. Oh God, my mama. Sheesh. Okay, so one thing you said in that song, who is Task? That's what we call unmarked Everybody police cars. Like the black trucks? Yeah. They be in every yeah, unmarked yeah. cars, like yeah. the same type of car you rode in, just yes, 10. I got some questions to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. First impression. The fucking real deal. Tell. Real deal. My soul. A lot of people say drill music is to blame for all the violence in the cities. What do you think about that? Bro, drill music is just where a motherfucker feeling when they going through the jungle, bro. Real deal, bro. You can't blame a motherfucker. Do you feel like you have a, a positive impact on the world? Yeah. A tapper is a motherfucker who don't get no fuck and they really trying to be they self for real. People can listen to music and it's up to you what you want to do with it. I can listen to your song and I can go lift weights. I can listen to your song when I'm on a road trip. I can listen to your song and beat the shit out of somebody. We all have the choice of what oh, we man. do once we listen to the song. Oh, man. Did you ever get scared of any of you guys shooting your dick off when you pass, when you put the gun like right here? There's some uh, cheer the bar bad shit. <laughs> okay, all right. That fucking tap, main tap, we out of here, my mom. Like, I can't even imagine what it would be like growing up in that type of situation. You reap what you sow, like you attract what you put out into this world. I know former drug dealers that are now millionaires in real estate. I know former bank robbers that are millionaires in business. You could be the street guy pushing up a lot of cash in the street, your choice. There are consequences that come with that. There's dangers that come with that. You can be the legit business guy too. If you move those street skills into entrepreneurship, I think you're gonna have a safer, more sustainable lifestyle. Next folks, Heavy G, an entrepreneur in St. Louis who's quite a character. We'll see you there. We're here with the St. Louis legend, Heavy G. 
A big thing we're highlighting is entrepreneurship. What do you got cooking up over here? My food truck right here. Selling uh, Rotel. That's, that's some little St. Louis, like some nachos type shit. And we selling my world famous drink, Whippy. This is how the Whippy look. I just, I've been doing this shit for one year as of last month. So this is my one year anniversary. It looked like drink, but, but it ain't what you think. think. That's my newest flavor. I want you to try this. Mm. Far, I know. That's good. Thank How'd you invent this? You know I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did, going to get some drinky shit. And I started selling the sodas for twenty dollars. And the sodas ended up getting so popular over the city, everybody started buying those some Fagos. And the stock actually went up ten percent within the thirty days of me promoting it. So I'm like, damn, I ain't made no money off this, you know. So own it, own so, your own shit. Yeah, and I knew I could do it. Because you know the Fago sodas was two dollars, so I'm like, I gotta make all that money back that I missed. So I'm making mine twenty five, the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, this the rotel right here. So what is this on the chip? Ground beef and cheese. <laughs> it's fire. This our culture. This is what we do. We eat, we eat rotel, take bitches to the hotel, and make sure you get it out. <laughs> This the best exotic store in the Midwest. F St. Louis, F Missouri, the Midwest. I'm standing on it. This the five dollar snack table right here. This for the scrambles. You ain't got your bag all the way right. They got the Skittles without the shell. Crazy. This what they selling in here. How do we get these in the St. Louis grocery stores? Cause I feel like that's the next move for you. That's what everybody been telling me, but they so expensive. It's like, I feel like it'll, be, it'll cost an epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? $25. This costs $25? Yes, for regular lemonade. That is crazy. Because it's regular lemonade, but at the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You will never get this taste anywhere else. It's definitely delicious. But if I were to tell my wife- Bro, I'm not paying $25 for no lemonade. That's crazy. I, I, first of all, I don't even know you. To be saying, oh, it's mine. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know you. Who are you? You feel me? I'm not paying 25 Me, personally, that's just too high. $25 for some lemonade? Bro, it's already bad at... It's already bad enough that lemonade now is like $3. Like, it is already bad enough that McDonald's when we got dollar drinks no more. I think it's like $1.25. Yes, 25 extra. It makes a difference. Trust me. Trust me. When you're used to paying just $1... You're paying a dollar and twenty five. That means I got a chunk of twenty five cent that I don't have just to get a drink at McDonald's. Like hey, everything is just going up. But this man charges seventy five dollars. No, twenty five dollars for a thing of lemonade that just is regular lemonade. But you say ain't nothing regular about it. So if it's regular, that means it's a lot of things that's regular about it. The only thing that's not regular about it is your name is attached to it, and I don't even know you. I don't care if Gucci was selling lemonade. I still wouldn't buy it. Wife, honey, I just spent $25 on lemonade. I feel like I would be in trouble. You would, until she see it. I'm gonna give you something for wifey too, just okay. so she can understand too. Okay, I'm shout out Sweet Cheeks, together. okay? Yeah, shout out Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> yeah, like, What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day ain't gonna be like that every day. There's ups and downs, it's right? Yeah, and then a lot of times you might have more downs than ups, but you gotta fight through it. We gotta go get this food, man. All right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a combination plate with St. Paul. Oh my granny. Oh, yeah. Out of all these, which one you think you're gonna like? First Come chicken. Pile, you gotta go. No, 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 no. Yeah, boy. Uh, hey. Now you are officially a St. Louis nigga. I know, wait, wait, he gotta get that St. Paul. Don't be fooled. This is where I go down there. This side of town. Hey, this is surprised you that St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America. Are we really good? Yeah, we good. 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 The next day, Heavy G sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Very sad. An immigrant that was working hard at a gas station just got their life taken by a kid. So the danger here is absolutely real. Back to the video. I remember being five years old knowing that St. Louis is the number one for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two. Like we always be in competition. Back I just remember that. If you were mayor, what would you do to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The, the youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying. The youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not on their phone or not just posted up somewhere, like just sitting outside. There's, 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 there's a lot of people that live so much of their life just on their phone. The Second Amendment is the American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's why it's a lot of violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, but because it, it's going to be going on regardless. 
any last one of us can go in the gun store and grab a gun. And on top of that, you can have your mama go get you a gun and you can just have a gun at 18, 19. It's good yeah. as far as all these niggas on that. So you, everybody can legally have a gun and- So the playing field is equal at least. Yeah, damn right. But a lot of good. Guns, <laughs> I used to post up my whole childhood. I'm going to have to get this intersection tattooed on me. I used to sit on that motherfucker every day. We'll be 20, 40 deep out here. All the niggas been died down here. A lot of niggas been trapped down here. 5% of St. Louis has left the city in the last two years. A lot of people fleeing the city, getting out. They say it's too scary, too dangerous yeah, to raise right. a kid. What do you think about that? It is. I ain't going to lie. The only person that could, that could get this city where it's supposed to be is me. I ain't gonna lie, the ops probably didn't roll past us since we've been out here. But they know I'm out here and see the type of shit I'm doing, they'll call it off like it wouldn't be nothing. But. There's helicopters here that chase cars? Yes! Yeah. Really? Yes, today. You Let probably gonna see one. Do you guys got any videos of that? vehicle looks to be cutting through the back alleys right now going so fast it ra it outran the chopper yeah, there's people are really be in a car running away from the helicopter yeah, yeah, and, no. did you get hit? good news i didn't get hit good news for you you have a chance to win this autograph bulletproof vest purchase a t-shirt on the site i got all these new cool shirts they look like this Purge the shirt, you have a chance to win this. Let the odds be in your favor. And now back to the video. Slide, yes. easy. Hey, yo, hand, come on. <laughs> hey, stop doing them, dog. You know I got people. Motherfucker was chasing me one time, shooting at me. I seen the police in the midst of getting shot at. Arm out the window, flagging them down. <laughs> Kevin pushing. Police have to ride deep around here, right? There's no way they come here with one car. No, they don't. Why y'all keep doing this? It's the young guys that get the wrong attention. Yeah, How old is the average kid when they get their first trap around here? Entering your teens, 13, 14. I ain't gonna lie, if somebody wanna do some gangster shit, they gonna do it from the main street. I usually wear my Crocs to a video shoot today. I wore the Nikes for a reason. Quick on your feet, you wanna race down? Dude, I'm a, I got a pretty quick 40 yard dash. Oh, when I get through, call people. All right, folks, this was an adventure through St. Louis. Heavy G, any words you got for the people to keep them motivated, hustling, excited? Man, be yourself, you won't need no help. Stay true to you. All right, folks, we'll see you next week. Peace. All right, folks, we got back. All right, oh, man. Um, First off, shout out to Tommy G for doing this, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, personally, the video was very entertaining. Uh, it, it, got, it gave me a different perspective, okay? Because obviously, if you don't know, like, I was raised in Chicago. This is Chicago. I still live in Chicago. This is my hometown, you know what I'm saying? So to see other people who grew up in the hood the same way that I did, but they're going through it worse, it just gave me a different perspective, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I can't sit here and talk about the youth because, bro, it all starts within the household, you feel me? If... The, if the parents are not teaching their kids right from wrong and they're not being strict on their kids, and I ain't saying being strict on them where you're taking away and you strip away their entire freedom, but being strict on them enough where they know, like, my mama, my dad, they don't play. So I need to go home. I need to do, do what I got to do because they don't play. So th that's just what we, I feel like it all starts within the household. And again, this generation, they need to find God because they don't know. They don't know Jesus Christ. They don't know God. I don't care what nobody believe. I look, I care what people, I, I'm not going to say I don't care what people believe, but if you don't believe that following Jesus Christ is the truth, then you're just blind, bro. You're just blind. It's like, I'm not going to go all deep into it, but you're just blind. You're just spiritually blind. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to say that it's okay, but I definitely understand because I was once spiritually blind myself. But however, this generation, they need to find Jesus Christ. If they don't know Jesus, they don't know God. It's just like, bro, they're, they're lost. They're lost out here. Demons are really attacking them, bro. When dude was rapping, I seen nothing but demonic spirits. Like, you look in his eyes, bro. You can see he's been attacked, bro. He's been attacked. He's been getting attacked since he was 12, since he was alone, bro. It's a spirit attached to him that's taking over him. That's literally taking over him, but he could be delivered from that if he's willing to repent from his sins, give his life to Jesus Christ. I just feel like, I feel like this generation, I feel like the people that's above or that's higher than us, the people that's older, millennials, and whatever else after that or whatever else before that, I feel like, Y'all need to pray for Gen Z. Gen Z is literally corrupted. Y'all need to pray for us. Seriously, pray for us. Y'all seen it yourself, bro. Young dudes out here with guns. 
Young dudes out here with guns. It's good to teach your child firearm safety at a young age, but when they out here really taking people alive, like they're literally murdering people, they're doing it unjustly because these people didn't do nothing to them. They just out here robbing and killing and stealing because it's fun to them. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Man lost his life at the gas station because a young brother want to come in there and shoot him. Probably robbed him. He wasn't giving no money. Probably just shot him. That's, that's probably exactly what happened. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below, man. Once again, shout out to Tommy G. You know it's serious when this man walk around with a freaking bulletproof vest on. You know it's serious in St. Louis. And St. Louis ain't that far from Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all pray for the cities. Y'all pray for this generation. Whether you believe in praying or not, bro, I'm telling you, prayer works. Definitely get on your knees. Do however you want to pray. You don't got to get on your knees to pray. But if you want to walk up, stand up, whatever, however way you pray, please pray for this generation. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.